एवरी वन हम यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई थिंक आई एम पोस्टिंग आफ्टर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक एन ईयर नाउ बट होपफुली दिस विल बी माई सेकेंड वीडियो बिकॉज आई डेंट मेड लाइक फोर फाइव वीडियोज इन बिटवीन बट नेवर पोस्ट दैम एनी वेज कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी लॉन्ग सीरीज वेयर आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट माई फेवरेट प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड आई एम स्टार्टिंग इन मिड नवंबर ओनली सो दैट आई कैन कवर दैम by december end and not leave behind any sort of category we're going to talk about makeup in in journal let's see if we have time for some skin care and hair care but makeup it is and for today's video i'm going to talk about primers so i got my eye surgery done this is nothing just don't get scared because of it it will go away in like 7 to 10 days but yeah and i cannot wear any makeup around my eyes so that's also i think my face looks a little dead but also nice and bright because i'm standing under a very nice big warm light this is not how my skin looks in real life this um, but this is not filtered as well but it's just a big warm light basically to talk about starting by stating the fact that i have dry skin and dry skin people don't actually need a primer primer it's just a you know sort of complimentary thing if you want to use you can use or you can just go in with a nice dewy foundation to complete your look but i personally like using illuminating primers and you know something to add that nice glow to my skin and that burst of you know it's going to look more healthy and everything so um Yeah so basically we're going to talk about primers for dry skin and uh, for normal skin types as well but if you have like super oily skin um this video might not be much helpful but still i have few recommendations if you have like super super oily skin you you must keep on watching to at least you know get away with something so the yeah background i mean this is my second video i know i could do better but maybe next time and also it's 2 am so yeah i just got this very much i got very much motivated and i was like i need to shoot right now and yeah but talking about my first favorite primer number 5th position it's a tie between this mac um studio radiance and this elana's golden hour although they are completely different but hear me out talking about the mac one it's a really good primer if you have normal to dry skin it has no chunky glitter particles or any shimmer particles for that matter it's just a good moisturizer which you can use as your makeup base every day basically and i have a restock of this as well because this is something i was actually very impressed from from mac after quite long So I'm just going to quickly show you the swatch here. My hands are filled. So this is how it looks. It's again, it's a very basic normal lightweight moisturizer primer sort of thing has no chunky glitter particles going on. So it's a safe choice for um beginners. But talking about the another uh, runner up for fifth position, it's this Elana's Golden Hour Glow Strobe Cream. I don't know why people are just not talking about these, but these two are so so good. But this is not for beginners. You must have a little bit of ha hold over your makeup when you are using any sort of such products because this can lead like this can be a little tricky and can go out of hand. in like no seconds i have the two shades with me one is rosé and the another one is champagne both of them are nice this is golden toned and this is as you can see a rose gold tone sort of thing i've posted a reel about them so you can check it out on my instagram so these two are quite thick and they do give a proper illusion of that glow and they have a decent amount of shimmery this is how it looks it has this really pretty rose gold tone but as i was saying can go out of hands in no seconds so i'm just going to show you a quick swatch this is how it looks it does not have that very big chunky glitter particles like other illuminating primers but still like the sheen is real and i also like to use it as my highlighter just looks very very natural and if you're looking for a highlighter which looks quite natural you can wear every day to your college or office this this is it and you can get both the shades i think uh, the rosé one would look better on fair to light skin tones and if you have dusky or whitish skin complexion this would look so damn pretty no, so yeah answer number 4 for me is this swiss beauty's real makeup uh, base this is a highlighting primer This stands at number four because this is something I only wear whenever I'm going out in the evening when I want that extra glam on my skin and when my skin is feeling like super dull and tired. This is something I actually reach out to 
but i would not wear this on everyday basis or if i'm going to college or school not school actually but college so if i'm going to college or something or offices this is not something because it's it's actually very glittery not glittery exactly but it's it has a good sheen and shimmer that can give you an illusion of a good um glowing glowing skin sort of thing i'm gonna quickly show you the swatch i have the shade n03 pink tint i'm gonna quickly link all the products in the description so you can check it out there and yeah this this is n03 and it has a good thick texture so as a dry skin person this is something i like it has a good sheen to it as well if you're a beginner and if you want to see if an illuminating primer will actually work for you you can try this one out i mean it's good something i would highly recommend for dry skin people and normal skin people and those who are planning to go out and you know this wedding season is also also around the corner so this this would be it if you are on a budget and you know if you don't want to splurge a lot and you know see the what illuminating primers is about try this one talking about the primer which stands on my third position i use them only on very humid days or if i have to go out on hot summer days it's the insight um three in one primer it's a silicon based primer it literally blurs protects and moisturizes your skin I, i'm not too sure about the moisturizes and protects wala thing but it actually blurs out your pores and everything and will make sure that your makeup does not move even if you sweat all day long considering you are wearing a good um foundation i personally prefer you with using super stay with this one the maybelline one this and super stay combined if you're going out on a hot summer day no matter how much you sweat go sweat like a pig this will not move your base another one is, is from nika it's their prep me up again it's it's a very um talked about primer it's a good one a good safe choice to go in but if i have to choose among these two i would actually go in with the insight one because it's much cheaper and the quality is much better if not much better like comparatively better than the nika so this is something i would recommend if you have oily skin or if you sweat if you sweat a lot this is a good option it's literally right now um coming to my second favorite primer it has to be this one from smashbox it's their photo finish illuminate glow primer again i'm a glow baby being a dry skin person this is so good it's definitely very expensive but if if you have the budget and if you want that very nice subtle sheen and you know you want your skin to glow and you know look so natural so snatched and you know i cannot explain explain but again i have few uh, posts and reels where i've used this and every time i use this my makeup turns out to be so pretty and so well done in person and you know it does not feel cakey or any anything because this primer is literally the best base for your skin and it has a very nice sheen to it i'm going to quickly show you the swatch for this one it is this it has this orange color but once you start blending it it has this peach tone so if you have slight pigmentation or something this will actually help you in tackling that plus it looks really pretty i am telling you with the full face of makeup this primer is something i would highly highly recommend to put it out there that this is like your skin but better you can also wear this alone without if you don't want to use any foundation or something it has this very nice glow touch to it i would personally not use this as any highlighter or something to add more color to my face no no but as a primer this is yeah, so good. for all my oily skin girlies here i have these two from smashbox i personally don't use them myself but i have used them on a few of my friends few of my family members who have a little bit of oily skin and they wanted their makeup to last all day and night long this is something i i'm more inclined towards it's the og photo finish primer again this i feel everyone has talked about it so it's a safe choice to go in with but this is the photo finish control mattifying primer it's salicylic acid based i am i'm i'm honestly i don't know i'm still skeptical about um these big acids joining the makeup uh you know line i mean salicylic acid in a in a primer is not necessary needed honestly so i don't know i mean it's it's something i'm not you know a fan of or would recommend you should rather go in with a photo finish one and talking about my first favorite primer it has to be the mac stop cream i know this is this is like cult favorite and this was my first 
this was actually like my first primer and the first thing which i actually got for my base because i was not into you know foundations i was like i need something you know i i, I used to watch that nice videos and you know you can add a nice glow and everything it's a nice primer definitely a good one if you have dry skin and if you want that glow even if you have oily skin this will work well but dot and key okay but dot and key just came up with this strawberry dew in the spotlight strobe cream this i i, I, I could never find a dupe for this uh, one be that lacme or ny bay and you know all these uh reels you see floating around this this was more like a product which cannot be duped but dot and key did i don't know what maybe they they just found the exact manufacturer and got this thing done but this is literally a perfect bang on dupe for this max strobe cream if you are on a budget this is something you should totally check out i also have a reel on this on my instagram page so you can check for for like more details but i'm going to quickly show you a quick swatch of how this is literally exactly like the max strobe cream this is the dot and key one can you see that very subtle sheen it's super pretty in person and looks like your skin but better more like your skin is actually glowing glowing and it has no chunky glitter particle literally none but it does have a very strong strawberry smell so if you have sensitive skin this might irritate your skin but overall i mean the glow is real i don't think so if you can see it properly but you can actually check my reel for more details and i'm going to swatch the mac one right right side by side but honestly if you have budget then you should actually go with the mac one only because it does not have that a little irritating strawberry smell but honestly there is no difference and i'm going to just use my another finger to show you why i why i'm saying that this is exactly like mac so you can see they both look very much similar i mean if you can actually so can you see this is the straw this is the dot and key one and this is mac they are very similar and on your face with with a full face of makeup you cannot even tell a single single difference so yeah this this is on my first actually a bonus tip if you have dry to very dry skin type just like me and um you want your makeup to look better and you know not you 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 hate those dry patches and everything and you know you cannot use a silicon based primer you cannot even use an illuminator or something this is something i would highly recommend not this product any so any sort of product like this this is uh dakota's lotion it's this is a very nice essence lotiony sort of thing i like to layer almost two layers of this um you know lotion before i go in with my makeup because this gives a very smooth base to my skin i use this and i also use primers as well because i like that dewy base and i hate cakey makeup or something and with dry skin makeup can go cakey any time so this is something i would highly recommend you can use any essence any toner you can layer it up to two layers three four five layers whatever your skin can drink up but um i mean this thing just adding a good essence before using any makeup product even before using your primer has made and you can actually use it before as well as you after use after you have used your moisturizer so basically adding this in your routine can make up your skincare your makeup game both really real strong so um this this is normal i would highly suggest this one or there are a lot of k beauty um nourishing essence or toners out there which you can actually try out but this is something i love so you can go in with this one as well and also this is quite mini so you can see if if this thing actually works for you, you all enjoyed this video and i actually love talking about makeup and if you if you also do let me know your thoughts in the comment section and yes please subscribe to my channel and if you are new here and if you have never seen me before i also create content on instagram i'm going to mention all the details in the description as well as all the product links so you can check it out there and yeah hopefully i'll be posting more about this series real soon so yeah stay tuned